What's up, y'all? This is Michael Stevens. It's a very emotional, motivational Monday. I tell you, uh, we just got done with Easter yesterday. Yesterday was Easter Sunday, and Easter is a has a special meaning for me. It, it was it was not only this is it the resurrection day, but it's also the day that I lost my best friend. Uh, his name was Bo Joklich, and he he ended up passing away because he had complications from a full lung transplant. He had cystic fibrosis. And uh, that was actually the day that he left this earth in physical form. But every day he's been there with me since. He's never left my heart. And uh, definitely got a lot of a lot of personal, powerful, emotional undertones. But uh, when it comes to the concept of, of Easter, I know we think about the Easter bunny and, you know, the rabbit that lays eggs. But I want to really focus on resurrection. And I'm not going to really go into what the religious meaning of the resurrection is, but I want to just really think about what it means to go from from death to life, what it means to go from impossible to possible. And I think those have really powerful meanings because we go through life and... There's a lot of times that we see walls in front of us that we don't really see a way past. We don't really see a way past. And we think of those things as, oh, that, you know, we look at those like, man, I have to stop now. So it's like a sense of, you know, it kills our hope. It kills our courage because we hit, the, we hit these, these walls. And uh, a lot of times we park or we'll sit down or we'll quit. And this video the purpose if anything is to really realize that some of these walls that we that we hit they're they're there for a reason you know some of the, these the darkness the dark periods of our life they're they're there for a reason sometimes that we we feel around in the dark and we we fumble like when you think of like a dark room and we fumble in the darkness we fall down we get back up we don't even know how the time what we tripped on because we can't see the ground but those are the moments that we build this thing called faith. And, you know, faith is, is it really is, it's, it's the things that we can't see. It's things that we believe are there and we live our life according to it. But we can't really see it. You know, if you're in a dark room and you believe there's another door on the other side, you believe there's a way out of this dark room, you're going to fumble around. You're going to fumble around in the dark. Even though you can't see where you're going, you're going to fall down, but you're going to get up because you know that there's another door out. There's another door through. Faith. Holding on. You know, what does it mean to hold on? What does it mean to hold on no matter what? I was going for a run in the hills just the other day. And I was. it was one of those runs that, man, I was up in the mountains. And I was just doing a five-mile run in the mountains. But, but it wasn't flat. You know, half of it was just going up probably at a... 45 degree angle and my body was just definitely taking a toll my left calf kept on just wanting to cramp up on me I've always had problems with this, with this same same left calf muscle and I just stop for like five seconds rub it out a little bit and keep on going but it wasn't until the very end of the run when I was doing the last push and it's actually the, ste the steepest part of the run that my body was so tired that it just gave up on me. It just gave out. And what the funny thing was is that when my body gave out, that was when my heart and my spirit really gave in, kicked in. So it really kicked in. And I was able to run harder and faster than I had the whole run. But it took me four miles of suffering just to get to the point that it, I was operating from my heart. And it seems that once once your body gives out on you, meaning once you stop depending on your physical strength, that's when you can actually tap into the unlimited strength that your that your heart has, that your mind has. 
because you know our body has limitations. For example, I mean, you bend you bend uh, an arm the wrong direction, in the wrong in the, in the wrong direction too far, it's going to break. It's going to snap. You know, you press you press you know you press the body too hard, it's going to get sick. But the truth is, with the mind, your mind really has no limits. Your mind can truly be bent as far as possible. As far as you allow it to be bent, you know I can I can change you to do the splits. <laughs> you know I can be like Jean Claude Van Damme doing the splits, but there's a there's a, there's a limit to really where how far I can do the splits. I mean this I can only do it so far. Otherwise my body's just gonna do you know have permanent damage. But with our mind, it's a little bit different, and it takes it definitely takes practice. You don't just wake up and go, man, I'm just gonna just be. Einstein today, you know Albert Einstein did a lot of these things called thought experiments. If you ever read on his, his works, he did a lot of things called thought experiments. And when he came up with a lot of, with his theories on relativity, which changed the, the landscape of science, he would do just simple thought experiments. Basically, some people would say like there was like meditation, but what he would do is really go deep into to thoughts. And one of the things that he did was he imagined that he was he was a particle of light. And he looked at the world from like, if I was light, what would my surroundings be like? Like, what would things look like to me as I as I'm travel as I'm a, a single particle traveling the speed of light? And you know, those thought experiments are uh, those are the things that allowed him to to really create some of the most amazing theories of relativity that. Um, and, and just science and all that stuff, just some of the most amazing things, just his work changed the landscape. And we got to put ourselves, we got to really think about what it's like to be that particle of light. We got to think about what it's like to be that that person of influence to say you want to be. Or, you know, whatever you're striving to be, you need to be able to see yourself there. You have to see yourself there. You know, it's real simple. When you see yourself there and you believe it, your your mind doesn't know the difference. And, I, and the biggest proof of that is like you know say say you're thinking about you know say you're thinking uh you know some sensual thoughts <laughs> you know you're thinking something sensual you know about some whatever and uh your body reacts a certain way and the reason why your body your body reacts a certain way is because your your mind doesn't know the difference you know that's uh that's what an erection is called in the sense you know when you're sitting in sitting in math class for all my guys out there or whatever you know in third grade or something you know but your your mind doesn't know the difference, and that's what we have to do with with our with our vision. That's what we have to do with the things that we see. Because if we choose to look and become that that thing that we're striving for, our mind is going to accept it as as truth. And when our mind accepts things that just truth, that's when the magic begins to happen. That's when. The people show up out of nowhere. That's when things start to fall into place. So I have a question to ask you. You know, do you want, would you love to have a million dollars? And I'm sure if you're honest, in a split second, you're going to say, oh, yeah, of course I'd love to have a million dollars. Of course I'd love it. I'd love to have a million dollars. Who doesn't want a million dollars, right? Even if you want to give it away. Even if you want to burn it. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to have a million dollars? But now let me ask you and be honest. Do you believe truthfully that you can that you can have a million dollars that you will ever have a million dollars? Do you believe that? Do you honestly believe that you'll ever be able to get a million dollars? Get your hands on a million dollars. And I think that if you're honest, if you're being honest right now, if you listen, you're going to a lot of you are going to be like, no, I don't believe it's possible. And this is that that defining moment when you realize that it has nothing to do with what you want in life. It has everything to do with what you believe is possible. Life does not give you what you want. It gives you what you believe is possible. And most of us can't believe things are possible because we can't see it. We can't see it and we can't feel it. Therefore, we can't be it. So my message to you is to this, is to open your eyes. And I'm not talking about what's in front of you. 
I'm saying don't don't take a look at what's in front of you. I'm saying take a look take a look at what's in you. Dare to look for those things that you want. Dare to look at them. Dare to see yourself holding them. Whether it's a position, whether it's a new job, whether it's you know stardom, whether it's making it on this on a sports team, you know, motivational speaking, being financially independent, you have to see it first. You have to see the fir- you have to see it happening. You have to believe that it's possible. You have to believe that it's possible. And once you believe it's possible, and that's connected to your core values, it does not matter how dark the room is. It does not matter how many times you fumble and trip in the darkness. You're going to keep on getting up until you find the other door through. I hope this really speaks to your heart today. And I hope this this brings value to you. And I'm speaking to you all from a person who is is moving by faith just like everybody just like everybody else who's who's who has a dream who has a vision to become more it's about courage so coming through the day after easter let this easter signify your resurrection let this be a symbol of you going from a place that you thought was impossible into a new possibility coming from a place that you felt was a limitation and now it's it's limitless from what was once dead to now fully alive have a powerful day